I'm Ryan Greenfeld and this is your VPB Update. As the Rosaka Restoration Project continues to speed right along, we're going to take a step back for a moment this week to look at how we arrived at the first waterway that was dredged, the Cemetery Rosaka. There were many reasons why VPB started the project here at the Cemetery Rosaka. One convenient thing is the waterway sits close to the dewatering station, offering an easy and quick way to transport the built up sediment to the dewatering area. The Cemetery Rosaka is also in one of the most at-risk flood areas in the city. Creating additional storage space for water will provide crucial flood relief. But one of the most important reasons to start here is what sits right along the waters, the Old City Cemetery. The Old City Cemetery, established in 1851, has been awarded National Register status. Resting within the cemetery are people who fought in all American wars, beginning with the War of 1812. This includes the Mexican-American War, Indian Wars of the Great American Plains, soldiers from both sides of the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and people who fought bravely in both World War I and II. That legacy continues to Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and the most recent fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. With so much sacrifice in one place, so much history, it grows ever more important to do what we can to preserve and honor it. Brownsville has always placed great importance on its cultural heritage and its history. With that in mind, it made sense that a restoration so important to the city would look toward its past for a place to start. I'm Ryan Greenfeld, and this was your BPB Update.